I would say that oil and gas sector in Ghana is still growing. We have well the upstream, which is strong. We have the midstream that has a bit of challenges in terms of refineries. Um, but the downstream has grown very well and it, it keeps growing. The, we've seen a bit of uh, changes um, from time when the industry was instituted to date. There's a lot of reforms as we go along. So the government has allowed a lot of private players to come in. We have some multinationals, we have local companies, and I think the local companies are really growing. So local content policy is also in place to support the local players. So I would say that in a nutshell, the industry has really improved. We has been uh, regulated by the MPA. We have other institutions that support, and there's also under the Ministry of um, Energy. There's been a bit of deregulation in the sector, and which has also improved the industry. And the last bit of the regulation is the transport liberalization. And I would say that the industry is 100% deregulated. So government control has gone off. Now it's left with the players, the PSPs, to manage it. And the price are set by ourselves. And we also, MPS to monitor to ensure that the system is fair to all and that the consumer is not cheated. I mean, just a bit of the overview of the industry today as it stands. We have um, about uh, 129 OMCs. We have about 31 BDCs. We have about 42 LPG OMCs. We have um, 12 companies with storage depots in the country. The state controls about 74% um, of the storage capacity in Ghana. And then the private sector today controls about 26% of the storage facilities in Ghana. Total consumption uh, storage capacity in Ghana is a little bit above a million tons, uh, 1 million metric tons. We have about uh, four refineries, the highest of them with a refinery capacity of 45,000 barrel a day, uh, with at least one having about 1,700 barrel a day production capacity. In terms of transport operators, we have about 432 operators in the country. We have about 3,000, a little bit about 3,000 registered BRVs that are trucks that move products from one location to the other. In terms of retail outlets in Ghana today, we have about 5,600 retail outlets in the country. The national consumption, that's the amount of products we consume, is about 3.5 million metric tons annually. And also the country is zoned into four main locations. Um, that is, a um, we have um, Bupe, Kumase, and then Takradi and Tema. And the Tema zone controls about 50% of national consumption, with Kumase controlling about 29%. So these are four zones from which you can load products to the other parts of the country. So basically, I would say that uh, the industry has improved. We have, it's been uh, regulated under the MPA Act 691 of 2005. 2005, and it has supporting allies that regulate the pricing, um, the full marking, also the prescribed pricing formula, and also the road tracking and volume monitoring system are all supported under allies. So these are basically the structure of the industry. And I think the key focus for the downstream sector in government uh, for Ghana currently is a uh, rule of restrictions on the importation of crude oil and petroleum products. Also, rule of restrictions on the establishment and operation facilities. And also, what we have today is a price decontrol, or what we call the price liberalization. So that's the current market structure.